Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Film. So in this video, I'm going to be trying out something that I saw back at Unreal Fest Orlando 2025, and I actually just uploaded the presentation that I watched by Greg uh, on YouTube right now. So, But instead of going from bigger to small like they did in the video, I'm going to go from small character to big character, like, you know, retargeting giants and whatnot. Now, I'll be using, I think this is the same exact animation they use in a presentation. So I have a SWAT character here that I got from the marketplace, and we have just a UE4, UE5 skeleton that I'm retargeting to. I basically just went here and then retargeted animations, selected my character right here, and this created our retargeted animation right now, which is right here. And by the way, if you don't know, if if you haven't messed around with 5.6, the there is a new thing called Operation Stack. We don't have the thing here on the bottom right anymore. That kind of confused me like a couple of months back when I was like, yo, where is this thing at? So it's right here. And it's broken down now with different type of Operation Stack. Uh, you can turn on, turn off, IK, and FK. Now, this is where the presentation kind of begins, right? So if you're happy with how your FK is handling the retargeting, if you're not really you know, using it for a game or whatever, you're just doing like a mocap animation and the result looks good to you, like what you're looking at right now, then you should be okay. But if you want like a precise or as close to the source as possible, I think they said that this is where this new scale comes in. I'll turn on IK rig right now, right? And then I'm gonna go to the retargeter IK. Now again, they're all separate now. And I'll select all of this here. And if I want this to retarget, say, in like a game, and I want it as close as possible, before, you can technically blend this to source, right? I used to do this with like arms and legs and stuff like that. But I'm just going to select everything like they did in the video and press 1. And this is where it kind of gets funky, right? Because whenever you have this big character trying to retarget to a smaller animation, you're going to run into this issue of the IK location of the big guy is the same location, say this hand right here, as the smaller animation guy, right? So again, if I move this to like zero, the IK for this hand is up here, but the IK for the smaller guy, the source, is like right here. But whenever we're blending this to source, we're saying, hey man, I want that IK as close to the original as possible. And as you can see, the bigger dude is like shrinking down because it's pulling those IK goals towards the hand, right? Right there. So that looks really wonky. So with that said, for us to fix this issue here, if you must absolutely blend the source, click on the add new target and there's now a scale source. And what you have to do is just bring this to the top of the, the stack. And in the source scale factor, I'll just put in 1.5. And that is going to properly scale the source to the target. That's not bad. And again, I can make this source now bigger or smaller. And I'll get it. I think Greg tried to get it as close to the IK goal as possible by just play, playing around with this. Right? And now, if I look at this retargeted animation, might be a little bit too big, actually. Like 1.6. 1.6. So now, whenever you're running your character in-game, even though this character is huge, it's still close to the source animation. And I believe they mentioned they use this a lot in Fortnite. Because in Fortnite, they have, like, different size, different height and stuff character so i i thought i i thought i heard him say that they use this in fortnite but it's pretty cool so that said just a recap if you must absolutely need a one-to-one -one blends to source you now have this scale source that you can use to properly scale something that's bigger to something smaller or something smaller to bigger pretty cool stuff